adults across the country are today eligible for a fifth COVID booster shot. The recommendation is for those who have not had a booster shot in the past six months or a COVID infection. Let's bring in today medical expert Dr Nick Codesworth. Doc, good morning to you. Another jab, is it necessary? Well, Carl, the, the, the language is really important from Atagi here. They said that adults are eligible for a fifth dose. Note that they haven't recommended the fifth dose, and that's really important. The recommendation is for adults over the age of 65 and those with really severe medical conditions that put people at risk of COVID. And given that only four out of 10 Australians have had the fourth dose, I think you can probably bet that the number getting the fifth will be less. As you know, I'm not a glowing ambassador for more than two shots. I've just decided that I've had COVID a couple of times and I'm done with the vaccines. Um, there, there's a big chunk of Australia um, that, that is done with it and, and there's a, a, another chunk um, that is happy to have, keep having them. Uh, is it capable of fighting new strains, this, this vaccine? Well, let's understand the science, which is if you get a fifth dose, your protection against severe disease is enhanced for around about 8 to 12 weeks and then it returns to what it was after the fourth dose or the third dose. So it's very transient protection, Carl. It's not increased protection for life. And that's the problem with these boosters. And of course, eventually, we're going to have to stop with these recommendations for ongoing right. boosters. I'm cognizant of, of also people in my life um, who are over the age of 60. Um, who, are, who are still incredibly nervous about and getting that's COVID. such a problem. That's such a problem, Carl, because they needn't be. If you're a relatively healthy over 60 year old and you're living at home and you're independent and you've had your doses of vaccine then the likelihood of you going to hospital with COVID is extraordinarily small and I don't think we've communicated that well mm. and the health department's still going out and saying Fright. oh you all need to be worried yeah they're and 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 they don't need to be worried my patients don't need to be worried because most of them don't have the severe medical conditions that warrant that the other thing that I'm concerned about is um, that if I have another um, dose um, that I may get complications. Um, I've, I've seen all this, um, all these reports on the internet about fit and healthy people just dropping down with heart issues, uh, and it's still not obviously established yet whether or not the vaccine caused some of these heart issues. But that's a worry for me more so than getting COVID. Well, with with respect to your age, Carl, I, I think the real worry for myocarditis and pericarditis is adolescent boys, and that's why Atagi's come out and said no more booster doses for people under the age of 18. So they are taking into account those complications. I don't think there's hundreds and thousands of sudden cardiac deaths that are being swept under the do carpet. I that? don't know. Yes, we do know that because I think the TGA is doing a good job. Mm. You know, no regulatory agency is perfect, but there's not tens of thousands of people who are suffering complications that we don't know about. This is a safe vaccine. There are complications, but we know what they are. Doc, always good to talk to you. Let Thanks, us know Carl. how you feel about that at home as well.